of pictures of my mother when she was in school and she's right in the middle there with a tie she's on the left hand side of this picture and um, these are when she was a little girl and uh, I made these earlier she's in the front row here in the black sweater the third one from the top and there she went to the Academy of the Holy Names which was a uh, school for uh, yeah kids that were uh, yeah Catholic and uh, so they had nuns and she loved the nuns and her father was shipwrecked and then died of cancer but she you know loved the nuns at the Academy of the Holy Name and spent a lot of time there and uh, there she is in the middle uh, you know two over from the nun or three over from the nun and the tall one and she's on top of that pyramid but I love the background pictures because they have all these Florida trees the the uh, cabbage palms and you know you can see they're on the beach and there's uh, sea oats and um, so these are just some of her girlfriends in school and of course their early pictures those were when she was in you know first second third grade these are when she was in high school so she's at the bottom there and she's got the hat on here so these are just some old pictures I did a video uh, earlier of it and uh, I never did anything with it so I'm just she's on the top there it's not a very good picture of her but she's on the third or from the left and uh, that's a boat that was in Tampa that's a big old boat but uh, those were uh, when ships were wood and men were iron and uh, that's I guess she's in the left of that and there she is she's in a, a wedding with somebody so this is just sort of to you know make these available to people who knew her and uh, of course this was almost a hundred years ago you know it's crazy but uh, she was born in 1908 so looks at these photos like she that's her mother that was uh, my mother's mother um, so um, and they lived in Tampa and uh, they had a one child Teresa and uh, one child Margaret and Margaret uh, was um, like uh, had Down syndrome and so it was very difficult and that was my mother's mother that was one of my mother's favorite pictures of her mother and um, and there's the grandmother grandmother used to be able to shoot better than any man is what they said and she used to smoke a corn cob pipe and there was TC it's not a very good picture but it was TC when she was and there's TC when she was young and Margaret when she was uh, so that's TC and Margaret were close in age and that's the woman that could shoot better than any man and smoked a corn cob pipe and lost I think it was seven brothers in the Civil War or something like that on the side of the South and that's TC when she was young and uh, don't really even know who this was maybe that was Margaret it looks like maybe Margaret and somebody but um, you know mother said that uh, they had Margaret and they kept her at home until she was about 20 and then when she was about 20 they had to take her to a home or something and uh, I don't I could be wrong about that that's a mother right there and uh, she was cute and there she is dressed up you know looks like she's all dressed up for something and um, so she said when they took Margaret to the home that was Thomas Fitzgerald that's my grandfather and that's with Margaret and like I said she had Down syndrome and that's mother on the left and um, so it was very difficult for them I think this is Mrs. O'Neill who was um, a good friend to uh, our family that's Aunt Irene she uh, well they had a lot of money back in those days and she was launching a ship and uh, there's Charlie Wilkinson he was a uh, you know really bandy legged uh, boat captain type and there's Irene when she got older and her two boys but uh, Charlie Wilkinson ran away with a showgirl in New York and there's uh, the uh, grandma you know great grandma who uh, was uh, the good shot <laughs> you know they kept her up in the attic she had a uh, room up there and uh, used to sit and smoke her corn cob pipe but she was supposed to be a real character and a good shot and uh, 
so she was raised on a plantation I think in um, you know in uh, Georgia or South Carolina somewhere Santee River and there's mother out I love these pictures because they're old Florida pictures those are longleaf pines and that's when mother got married and uh, that was uh, my father there uh, yeah and his brothers and uh, she was kind of meeting the family and there was uh, his mother and uh, her mother and I think this was in Tybee Island and uh, again I'm not really good with the geography but I think it's South Carolina or uh, Georgia but uh, they rented a little house at the beach and that was just their little get-together so this is just to preserve some of these pictures and it was just you know kind of a little glimpse in time and of course most of these people are gone so I can make up anything I want I guess you just have to take my word for it and I uh, don't know who that was but that's the little place they rented and um, there's the group picture you know what a group they had uh, the whole group of people there at the little place and they all look like uh, they're doing well and I don't know what that's all about but it was uh, some of the you know one of the boys that lived up there and um, and there's Uncle Jack and he was just laying down he's always soaking it in he seemed to be a, a you know a fellow who was cheerful and happy everybody liked Jack I think and the cars are cool and there's mother and daddy a wedding picture of them and uh, yeah I mean these are just uh, some pictures that were and there's Rini and uh, Bill it looks like Bill and Rini and uh, so there there's the hammock the hammock is like pervasive and there's grandfather and grandmother in the middle and then daddy on the side and then uh, mother with uh, yeah with her new family because she just married into the mayor's family which were they were 10 kids so it's a lot of people and uh, grandmother was sitting there with my dad and uh, they asked grandmother how she got along with all the people in the family and she says well I just don't let my left hand know what my right hands doing so that was her explanation so there's mother and I think we'll just wind this up right now and uh, see how it goes this is just a test there's Charles Fishburne and I don't know maybe that's Rini and there's uh, my dad and uh, there's Herb Mares and I don't know who that is I can't really tell very well but they're all doing beachy stuff everybody with their beachy people from Barbados and uh, all dressed up going somewhere there's my dad and there's my mom and then her new family I guess they're all out in the hammocks are pervasive they're everywhere all right well let's wind it up and uh, just go ahead and that's in South Carolina or Georgia and uh, wind the